With the launch of Redmi 5, Xiaomi seems more focused on consolidating its position as the best budget smartphone maker. Redmi 5 is well oiled for what it is being projected. We have been using this device for last 48 hours and here are our thoughts on it. Let's get started. Starting off with its design, apart from the 18 to 9 display, Redmi 5 is no much difference from its elder sibling, Redmi Note 5. All the buttons and ports are pretty much in the place where it should be. Well, from the back, it's nearly indistinguishable from Redmi Note 5. Having said that, it's not much different from its predecessor, Redmi 4, especially the in-hand feel. The plastic build of the smartphone doesn't feel odd, especially looking at the pricing. With that, let's talk about the display. The Redmi 5 might look similar from the back, but the new taller 18 to 9 display sets apart from its predecessor. The phone has a 5.7 inch IPS LCD display with a pixel density of 282 ppi, which is actually lesser than Redmi 4, apparently making the display looks dimmer in the brighter day light. Now onto the performance. The Redmi 5 is powered by Snapdragon 450 chipset coupled with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of expandable storage which turns to give out a great user experience. The Redmi 5 takes on apps and games with a buttery smooth experience with no hiccups. Apart from that, it runs on MIUI 9.2 on top of Android 7.1.2 Nougat and is backed by a 3000 mAh battery. Yes, Xiaomi did cut down the battery capacity of Redmi 5 from 4000 on Redmi Note 4 to 3300 mAh in Redmi 5. Now coming to the main thing what any user focuses on, the cameras. On paper, the rear camera of the Redmi 5 is same as Redmi Note 5. It has 12 megapixel sensor with f2.2 aperture along with face detection autofocus. The only visible difference is LED flash. The Redmi 5 has a single LED flash while the Note 5 has dual. Photos from Redmi 5 has a pretty good clarity and sharpness. The tap to focus work really well with zero shutter lag. Expect some overexposed shot in harsh sunlight and moreover, the dynamic range didn't seem at par with the Redmi Note 5. The quality of the photo degrades in low light. At the front, it has 5 megapixel sensor with LED flash, which is not bad either. Do let us know if you want to see a camera comparison of Redmi Note 5 and Redmi 5. Vote above. So what's the downside of this smartphone? Well, Redmi 5 has almost the same flaw as that of Redmi Note 5, which is it doesn't have USB-C. And moreover, Redmi 4 had 4000 mAh battery, while the Redmi 5 has 3300 mAh battery which is a big letdown. Maybe this has been done to cut off the size of the phone, but it would have been better if 4000 mAh battery was there in it. So that was pretty much my 48 hours with Redmi 5. At 7999, you cannot ask for a more powerful smartphone. There are some physical compromises and drawback of the smartphone, but as an overall package, it justifies the price range. Either way, let us know what you guys think about this smartphone in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.